very sorry to do this to you. I know the conversation at lunch is wonderful, but we have a program, and so what we'd like to do is start it so that we can finish it in time for the sessions and encourage you to go ahead and eat uh, during the awards, but um, uh, we do need to start now, so please bear with me. We uh, apologize for interrupting your lunch. Um, uh, if you don't already know, by heaven's sakes, I think you all know who I am by now. Uh, I'm Mary Ann Dickinson of the Alliance for Water Efficiency, and I'm the sort of master of ceremonies today for the EPA Partner of the Year Awards for the WaterSense program. I'm very, very happy to be here. We'll also be presenting our Alliance for Water Efficiency uh, Water Star Award today, which, as always, is a big secret. Uh, but I'd like to start off by um, introducing to you uh, Ellen Galinsky, who will be our first speaker uh, in the program today. Uh, she has served as a senior policy advisor in EPA's Office of Water since 2011. In this position, Dr. Galinsky addresses policy and technical issues related to all EPA water programs with an emphasis on science, water quality, and state programs. She also serves as the co-chair for the Mississippi River Gulf of Mexico Hypoxia Task Force. Prior to this appointment, she spent seven years as the director of the water division at the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality, where she supervised a diverse array of water quality and quantity programs. She received her BA in biology from the University of Pennsylvania and her PhD in zoology with a concentration in aquatic ecology from the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Among her other professional accomplishments, she was a past president of the Association of Clean Water Administrators. She held a gubernatorial appointment to the State Advisory Board of the Virginia Water Resources Research Center, and she was an adjunct faculty member at Virginia Commonwealth University in the Departments of Biology and Environmental Studies. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Ellen Galinsky. This is an awesome crowd. I, I don't know if this has set a record for the conference or not, uh, but it sure looks like it. So I welcome everybody. I can't see all of you all the way back there, but uh, uh, I, I know it's been a great conference so far and will continue to be. And this, to me, is the best part of it, where we um, honor our colleagues for their uh, water conservation efforts. So I'm delighted to be here uh, to uh, kick, kick off our award ceremony. We at EPA are proud to be part of this gathering of the leading water efficiency stewards from across the country. Every day you work to help consumers and businesses make better decisions about their product choices and water behaviors, and that makes a difference in protecting our environment and improving the bottom line of all of us. With more than 346 billion gallons of water saved, from WaterSense labeled products just last year alone. That is quite an accomplishment. I'm happy to say that WaterSense has now broken the one trillion gallon mark in water savings since, I think that's worth some applause. Since 2006, WaterSense labeled products have helped Americans save 1.1 trillion gallons of water. That's more than the amount of water used in all of the households in Texas for a year. WaterSense has also helped consumers save $21.7 billion in water and energy bills since 2006. So to me, this certainly sounds like a win-win solution. We're saving people money and conserving water at the same time. Thanks to the hard work of all our WaterSense partners, we now have more than 15,000 models of WaterSense labeled products and ended 2014 with 449 water sense labeled homes. And hopefully we'll keep going on those. We could not have achieved these results without the ongoing support of the many water sense partners here today who create, educate, rebate, and communicate about water sense labeled products, homes, and programs. Today I'm delighted to represent EPA in honoring an inspiring group of water efficiency leaders whose innovative efforts have made a difference every day in communities across the country. We are grateful for and continually impressed by WaterSense partners' dedication to making water efficiency a priority. Among our partners are individuals who devote their lives to ensuring access to clean, safe water, something most consumers often take for granted. 
Earlier this year, EPA issued the final, along with uh, the Corps of Engineers, issued the final clean water rule. I've spent a lot of time traveling the country over the last year talking to audiences about the importance of protecting the smaller streams that flow into our larger rivers, lakes, and reservoirs that serve as water sources, providing drinking water to one in three Americans. The uh, small streams do. Protecting the quality and ensuring the adequacy of our drinking water supplies relies on the actions of countless individuals. These unsung heroes offer new solutions that will help both our neighborhoods and nations thrive, even in the face of the increasing challenges uh, brought by climate conditions over the next decade and beyond. Today, not all those heroes will go unsung. Exemplary WaterSense partners from across the supply chain will be recognized for their vital efforts to promote WaterSense labeled products, homes, and programs, as well as educate consumers and businesses to use more water efficient practices. And let's not forget the energy savings that go along with those water savings. This year saw EPA's release of the Clean Power Plan, which represents an important step in reducing carbon pollution from power plants to combat climate change. Advancing energy efficiency is a cornerstone of the plan, and WaterSense can be an important player in helping states meet their pollution reduction goals. Uh, and of course, this month is Shower Better Month. We're kicking that off. Uh, I didn't want you, any of you to forget that, in conjunction with Energy Action Month, it's a great time to remind your customers of the water and energy saving benefits of WaterSense labeled shower heads. It certainly makes sense to me. By the end of 2014, WaterSense labeled products such as shower heads and faucets help America, helped Americans reduce the amount of energy needed to heat, pump, and treat water by 146 billion kilowatt hours which is enough to supply a year's worth of power to more than 13.3 million homes. So that's a lot of energy savings. This, in turn, eliminated 54 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions, the equivalent of planting nearly 1.4 billion trees. So this is nothing to sneeze about. We're really getting the uh, air pollution uh, savings as well as the water conservation savings at the same time. Using less water means moving and treating less water, which means putting less strain on our water supplies, wastewater infrastructure, and energy supplies. Looking to the future, we can't afford not to keep our commitment to water efficiency. Even as I stand here today, a significant portion of the continental United States uh, is experiencing moderate to extreme drought. And of course, at the same time, we have areas like uh, our friends in South Carolina who are under extreme flooding. According to the National Climat Climatic Data Center, the United States has sustained 114 climate disasters over the past 30 years, in which overall damages and costs reached or exceeded $1 billion. And uh, the U.S. Government Accountability Office found that 40 out of 50 state water managers expect water shortages in some portion of their state under average conditions over the next decade. The good news is that a unified effort can and will turn things around. A peer-reviewed EPA report found that global action on climate change would result in as much as 45 percent fewer severe and extreme droughts. What we'd also avoid as much as $54 billion in damages related to water shortages. The time to act is now. Because of the interplay between a natural drought event and human factors, water conservation is of the utmost importance. That's where WaterSense comes in. Since 2006, more than 3,000 WaterSense organizational partners and certified irrigation professionals have encouraged water-efficient behavioral changes and labeled products every day, everywhere from homes and landscapes to schools, restaurants, and hotels. And I know you've heard about a lot of those uh, efforts uh, during the, the various breakout sessions yesterday and today. They're traveling the country and stocking store shelves with WaterSense labeled products certified for efficiency and performance. They're teaching our children how to conserve and, ch uh, and challenge hotels to assess, change, and track their water use. They're building homes that use less water from the ground up and investing new technologies that are revolutionizing the way we use our yards. The WaterSense partners we honor today are just a few examples of how changing the way our communities think about 
and use water every day bolsters our national ability to withstand future climate challenges. The key to keeping this momentum going is market transformation. Every year, a growing number of organizations are aligning themselves with WaterSense to work toward a shared goal, protect the future of our nation's water supply by offering people a simple way to use less water with water efficient products, homes, and services. This collaboration between the public and private sector is the key to WaterSense's success now and into the future. And it's also the key to adapting to and building resilience for our changing climate. EPA thanks the thousands of WaterSense partners for making this possible. Today, we're here to acknowledge the achievements of some of our, of our most successful and supportive partners. And I know I always enjoy hearing about um, why they won the award and what their fantastic projects were. So with that, I'd like to invite our WaterSense branch chief, Veronica Bledi, who I'm sure many, if not all of you know, to introduce the group of partners whose remarkable efforts helped make a difference in the U.S. communities throughout 2014. So, Veronica, I'm going to turn it over to you, and we'll be giving out the awards. Thank you, Ellen, and I hope people keep my meal. I know you're all enjoying your meal, but I never get to eat the meal, so and don't let them take dessert either. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Ellen. Thank you, everybody. Um, as you know, Thousands of organizations and individuals have supported WaterSense for nearly a decade. And narrowing this group down to just a handful of sustained excellence, Partners of the Year, and Excellence Award winners is just plain hard. We'll start by recognizing six Excellence Award winners who exhibited success in a specific program area to advance WaterSense in their communities. Our first winner is a utility that developed successful partnerships with a variety of organizations to promote the WaterSense mission. Partnering with the University of Colorado at Colorado Springs, they supported a student-led dormitory retrofit of more than 200 inefficient toilets with WaterSense labeled models. This utility also introduced its Gorilla Green campaign in 2014, a water efficiency education and outreach approach to promote WaterSense in their community. For excellence in strategic collaboration, please join me in congratulating Colorado Springs Utilities. Accepting the award on behalf of the utility is Frank Kinder, Senior Conservation Specialist. Okay, our next Excellence Award winner promoted the adoption of water sense labeled products through retailer education, rebate programs, and targeted outreach. Their staff visited 60 retail outlets in 2014 and encouraged retailers to promote water sense labeled products for which they offer rebates in every product category. They also launched a new water sense challenge to identify large multifamily buildings with high indoor water use and conduct home makeovers using water sense labeled fixtures. Eight large condominium and apartment complexes, about 3,600 units, were updated with water sense labeled fixtures thanks to their assistance. Receiving the Excellence Award for promoting water sense labeled products, please join me in congratulating Denver Water. Accepting the award on behalf of the utility is Mark Casalia, Conservation Specialist. Our next winner truly stood out in its efforts to educate consumers about water efficiency. In conjunction with fix -a leak Week, this utility hosted its annual Water Drop Dash 5K race and water festival. More than 700 runners participated and each received indoor and outdoor water conservation kits. At the water festival, this partner and 11 other participating water utilities provided hands-on water-related activities and distributed toilet dye tablets, shower timers, and rain gauges. For excellence in education and outreach, please join me in recognizing the Metropolitan North Georgia Water Planning District. Accepting the award on behalf of the organization is Laura Amadou, Senior Program Specialist.
This Excellence Award winner used information in WaterSense materials to develop their own We're for Water campaign tailored specifically for their state residents. They held a cute kid photo contest, and the winner was featured on the cover of a Saving Water is in Your Future brochure featuring WaterSense's simple steps to save water. In addition, this partner collaborated with the efficiency program of the state's electric and gas utilities to update its catalog in 2014 with WaterSense label products and a Shower Better infographic. Please join me in congratulating our second winner for excellence in education and outreach, the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services. Accepting the award on behalf of the organization is Stacy Herbold, Water Use and Water Conservation Program Manager. Our next Excellence Award winner recognizes a utility that led the charge in promoting WaterSense's Sprinkler Spruce Up campaign. It collaborated with the Orange County Stormwater Program and the University of California Cooperative Extension, Extension to host six events throughout Orange County, three at Home Depot stores and three at other local garden centers. At these events, more than 700 retail customers learned about WaterSense labeled irrigation controllers and the importance of sprucing up their irrigation systems. As a result, WaterSense labeled weather-based irrigation controller sales increased by more than 225% at three Home Depot stores in comparison to their average daily sales. For excellence in sprinkler spruce up activities, WaterSense is proud to recognize the Municipal Water District of Orange County, California. Accepting the award on behalf of the organization is Joe Berg and Melissa, Dr. Melissa Baumhaley from the Water Use Efficiency Program. Our final Excellence Award goes to a utility for its leading role in promoting the water energy nexus in 2014. This winter launched a sports-themed energy upgrade campaign targeting 14 high-profile sporting events, including the NFL football game between the Seattle Seahawks and the Denver Broncos in September. They had a captive audience of ferry, bus, light rail, and train commuters traveling to the game and handed out more than 10,000 golden upgrade tickets to redeem a free water sense labeled shower head or energy efficient appliance. And 29% of those tickets were redeemed. For these activities and more, the award for excellence in promoting the water energy nexus goes to Puget Sound Energy in the state of Washington. Unfortunately, a representative from the organization was not able to attend today's luncheon, but we send them our best wishes. I guess I'll clap for that. And now for our 2015 WaterSense Partners of the Year. Partners in different sectors play a critical role in our program's success. This year, our Partners of the Year help make a difference in communities every day by promoting water sensible products, homes, and programs, educating consumers on water efficient behaviors, and transforming the marketplace with their innovation and dedication. Beginning with the Promotional Partner of the Year category, we are recognizing four partners for their outstanding work and support in spreading the word about the WaterSense program. The first, this first Promotional Partner of the Year held a successful race to celebrate Fix a Leak Week 2014. Their Family 5K featured a running toilet and WaterSense t-shirt giveaways, as well as information on the city's WaterSense labeled toilet rebate program. The city also participated in a number of events focused on children including the Virginia Discovery Museum's Kidvention event, where staff distributed kids' activity books and other items encouraging water efficiency to more than 1,200 attendees. In 2014, the city created a blue team of high school students who visited more than 200 homes with water conservation kits and information about labeled products, rebates. Through other outreach efforts, the city distributed 500 toilet rebates to residential and multifamily homes and surveyed consumers to evaluate awareness of the rebate program. I'd like to congratulate our first 2015 Promotional Partner of the Year, the City of Charlottesville, Virginia. Accepting the award for the City of Charlottesville is Jill Greiner, Water Conservation Program Coordinator. Hi, 
everyone. Thank you so much. Um, first, I want to thank WSI and also uh, Water Sense for this award. The City of Charlottesville is very excited to win um, our first partner year, year of the award. As a small city in central Virginia, we really appreciate all the resources and materials provided by Water Sense to effectively communicate uh, the importance of water conservation. Charlottesville is committed to saving water and energy, and with the help and guidance of WaterSense, we have seen a gradual decline in our average um, water consumption in our single-family homes each year. As WaterSense partner, we look forward to sharing uh, our strategies with you all and also um, learning from others. As we are all well aware, water conservation is an increasingly relevant issue, and we have to be able to provide our citizens and customers with effective um, tools and strategies to saving water. We look forward to finding new and innovative ways to engage our community to save water and to be stewards of this critical natural resource. Thank you very much. The next utility we're recognizing is a four-time promotional partner of the year. Last year, this partner made a splash by promoting all of the WaterSense outreach campaigns. It recruited five hotels to participate in the Hotel Talent Challenge and donated 3,600 WaterSense labeled shower heads to a local university's dorms for the Shower Better campaign. Its Sprinkler Spruce Up campaign included a local television segment about water efficient irrigation systems and a hands on WaterSense labeled irrigation control demonstration in its lobby. For Fix the Leak Week, it teamed up with the Metropolitan North Georgia Water Planning Water District's Water Drop 5K and distributed 100 outdoor water efficiency kits to runners and attendees. Staff also worked with Niagara Conservation and Green Plumbers USA to promote water sensible toilet and shower head retrofits and hosted events at local Home Depot stores, distributing 6,000 free water sensible shower heads. Please join me in congratulating another 2015 Promotional Partner of the Year, the Cobb County Water System from Georgia. Accepting the award on behalf of the utility is Kathy Wynn, Senior Project Manager. Thank you. Um, so I want to first start by thanking WSI. I love this conference. I think it's great. I get to see so many of the heroes that taught me about water conservation. And then I get to see the people that Marianne referred to as our number 15, those future leaders in conservation. And it's such a great conference. And always thank you to WaterSense. They make it happen for us in Cobb County. Um, so I'm struck by and never shy to steal a really good phrase. So I'm going to also quote Paul Lander, because I think that he has uh, made the quintessential analogy for water conservation. We are salmon swimming upstream. And in the southeast, uh, it breeds especially strong salmon, because uh, it's not as common to promote conservation in the southeast. And so in keeping with that analogy, I would say that winning a partner award means so much to Cobb County because we always say at Cobb, partners make it happen. And I'd like to thank WaterSense and our partners are like the rocks, riffles, and break in the, uh, in the current that give us a chance to rest as we swim upstream. And so I also have a special opportunity this year my staff, I always thank at this event because they actually make this award happen for us. And this year, I was able to bring my colleague with me, Amy Warnock, and I want to personally say to her, thank you, because you are one of the 15. You are the future leaders in conservation, and I'm proud to work with you and so fortunate to get to, I hope, mentor you along the way. Um, tomorrow is our future. I'm confident in it when I see people like Amy and I see people like the students that are here on scholarship. And I'll just close with this. At Cobb, we have goals for conservation, just like all of you. One of ours is to increase the market reach and applicability of water sense. And then we also have a vision that goes along with that. And our vision is that I'll be walking through Home Depot one day and I'll hear a Cobb County citizen say, Energy Star, what is that? And the customer will say, oh, that's the energy equivalent to water sense. <laughs> that's 
funny. Okay, so despite having fewer resources than bigger utilities, our next winner made a big difference as WaterSense promotional partner in 2014. Using Bill Stuffer's blog posts and social media, the city's Tap Into Murray Quality campaign promoted WaterSense label products throughout the community. The city engaged residents through its traveling event booth, visiting everything from farmers markets to youth sporting events to inform residents about simple steps to save water with water sense labeled products and water efficient behaviors. The city found that 80% of the children who participated in its Water Wise Kids program have adopted water efficient behaviors, including shorter showers, and who doesn't want that, and getting their parents to use water efficient aerators. For Fix the Leak Week, staff collaborated with local plumbers and plumbing suppliers to promote their WaterSense labeled toilet rebate program. Its booth was actually so successful at a local, local, uh, Lowe's, Home Deep, so local Lowe's Home Improvement store that the retail location sold out of WaterSense labeled shower heads that week. I'd like to congratulate our next 2015 promotional partner of the year, Utah's Murray City Corporation. Accepting the award on behalf of the city is David Franson, Water Distribution Supervisor. Thank you so much. This is, like you said, we're really a, a smaller community in uh, Salt Lake County. Um, so I mean, this really means a lot to us. Today, with the, I got our mayor, Ted Iyer, um, Doug Hill, our public services director, and Danny Astle, our water superintendent, here to celebrate this. Um, we've had a lot of good support from our council and mayor that's made this possible. And what we're most proud of is it's the same guys that are actually running our water system, the guys that are out there fixing leaks, guys that are out there changing meters and that sort of thing that are the guys that are involved in our outreach and out there doing this and talking to our community. So they're going to freak out when they find out about this. This is a really cool honor. In the water industry, you guys know, we deal with what I call the offensive lineman parallel. Nobody pays attention to us until something goes wrong. So for once, we're pretty excited to be the pretty boy quarterback. Um, Thanks to WaterSense, we basically feel like we ride their coattails. They do so much. They put out so many good things that we're able to use and use to our uh, advantage. And we're riding their coattails, and somehow we're the ones up here getting an award. But um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go with it. Um, thanks to Lowe's um, and uh, the National Energy Foundation and some of our partner plumbers. Thanks to you companies that put out these great products, firm believer that um, changing people's habits is the best way to do it is to basically, if they don't know really that that shower is using less water, that's the best way to do it. So thanks for putting out these great products. And most of all, thanks to other cities and districts that are out there sharing your successes and your failures. I love coming to these conferences, learning what you're doing, learning what works, learning what does not work. I've stolen stuff, borrowed stuff, expanded on it. I hope you guys read what we've done and say, hey, that's a pretty cool idea, maybe we'll try that. So thanks a lot. Here's to being the pretty boy quarterback for once. Our final promotional partner of the year award goes to an organization that really demonstrated creativity in promoting water since last year. It reached more than 20,000 consumers across the state of Texas during its demonstration tour with a mobile water sense home featuring labeled bathroom fixtures. During Fix the Leak Week, they launched a Find It, Flag It, Fix It campaign urging homeowners to check their irrigation systems for leaks and flag areas in needs of repair. Approximately 6,000 green flags with the WaterSense Partner logo were, logo were distributed. By participating in events like the State Fair of Texas, it reached an additional 500,000 people with dual flush toilet and irrigation controller demonstrations and a rainwater harvesting display. Employees also provided a series of local Sunday morning television news interviews about water sense labeled homes and efficiency opportunities. Please join me in congratulating our, our final 2015 Promotional Partner of the Year, Texas A&M AgriLife Research and Extension Center at Dallas. Accepting the award on behalf of the center is Clint Wolf, Program Manager.
I'll be quick. Um, we just want to thank um, Water Smart Innovations and EPA and the Alliance for Water Efficiency. Especially thank you for EPA for uh, labeling WaterSense products. That makes our job a whole lot easier um, when customers uh, don't have to think and just grab the product off the shelf. Um, I get the honor of standing up here today, but uh, we wouldn't have received this award without the uh, team members sitting right here at this table, Dottie Woodson, Patrick Dickinson, Karen Sanders, and Daniel Cunningham, who actually uh, go out and do these programs over 300 a year that we do. Um, and without the support of our administration um, for allowing us to do that and knowing that water will continue to be the number one issue in Texas, so uh, conserving it is important. I also want to thank our EPA Region 6 uh, supporters and our water since uh, uh, Deborah Browning, who always uh, is there to help us and support us. Um, and not only that, we're not actually a water provider, so we just do uh, research and education, so we want to thank our uh, local water authorities, North Texas Municipal Water District, Tarrant Regional Water District, who look at us um, as a valuable resource. But most importantly, we want to thank the cities in our area who actually allow us the opportunity to come to their cities and actually uh, conduct programs and make a difference. So thank you all very much. Moving on to our Manufacturer Partner of the Year. This year we are recognizing one manufacturer for outstanding work in support of the WaterSense program. A first-time WaterSense winner, this manufacturer partner forged strategic partnerships to generate awareness of WaterSense labeled products. Regional sales managers worked with water utilities in their territories to educate consumers about installing and programming weather-based irrigation controllers as well as available rebate programs. In partnership with the Irrigation Association's regional chapters and distributors, the company trained contractors on the installation and programming of labeled controllers. The company promoted its water sense labeled controllers at 30 national and regional trade shows, expositions, and sales events, reaching more than 70,000 people. They also helped develop test criteria to support our pending, hopefully next year, draft soil moisture-based control technology specification. I'd like to congratulate our 2015 part Manufacturer Partner of the Year at the Toro Company. Accepting the award on behalf of the company is Alexis Bookman, Marketing Communications Manager. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start off by saying, please save my dessert. Uh, <laughs> uh, Toro has been manufacturing products uh, to meet not only our customers' needs, but also to promote um, water saving, uh, water efficient irrigation for several years. So it's our honor to be recognized for um, water efficient innovation and outreach from such an important national agency. Some of you might not know that while Toro's headquarters is based in Minnesota, our um, irrigation business is based in Southern California. So those of us who work in Toro Irrigation are acutely aware of the daily challenges of living in an area uh, where water is uh, scarce. So that makes us particularly, particularly fervent in wanting to develop products that will help save water not only in our backyard, but worldwide. That being said, um, these products are a lot more efficient when they're installed and used properly. So I want to thank all of those who are out there with us helping to educate on um, best practices for outdoor water use and getting the word out about our products. Particularly, I want to thank our distributor partners and our water agency partners. Many of, of you are out there today. Um, and just thank you, and we look forward to continued cooperation and collaboration with the EPA WaterSense program for several years to come. Thanks. Our next award goes to our Licensed Certification Provider Partner of the Year, who is earning this honor for the third time for its continued support for the WaterSense New Homes program. In 2014, the company certified 100 properties that met the label doubling the number of homes it certified in tw since 2013. It also supported a 2015 Sustained Excellence Award winner in its commitment to build 10 communities exclusively with WaterSense labeled homes. The company trained 11 new inspectors on the WaterSense Homes criteria last year using a hand-on hands -on approach 
to the water sense inspection checklist on model homes. To keep all inspectors up to date, the company created an online training video. Please join me in congratulating Energy Inspectors Corporation for its third licensed certification provider partner of the year award. Accepting the award on behalf of Energy Inspectors is Amber Maru, Sustainability Manager. Sorry, a little bit vertically challenged here. Um, thank you. It is quite an honor for energy inspectors to be here receiving this very prestigious award. Um, we're actually quite a small company, surprisingly, so we're both surprised and honored to be receiving this for the third time. Uh, we would like to thank our builder partners for their dedication to building not, not only a more water efficient home, but a better home. It's really them we have to thank for being here today, just for the honor of being able to help them achieve that goal. That's what we do. It's our business since we're consultants. So um, this represents one drop of water saved. Here's to many more. <laughs> Our 2015 Professional Certifying Organization Partner of the Year wins this award for the second year in a row. This organization demonstrated its continued efforts to train and certify irrigation professionals in 2014 through the Qualified Water Efficient Landscaper Program, or QUEL. Last year alone, they accepted four professional certifying organizations that adopted the QUEL certification program and certified 200 professionals. The organization updated the Quell Gray Water Specialty Training Module in 2014 and held an initial training class for 23 participants. By partnering with the nonprofit organization Water Now and using the new Quell North Bay newsletter, it reached plumbers and irrigation professionals and spread the word about the training and other continuing education opportunities to Quell certified professionals. For the second year in a row, WaterSense is pleased to present the 2015 Professional Certifying Organization Partner of the Year Award to the Sonoma Memorial. Sonoma Marin Saving Water Partnership. Here to accept the award on behalf of the partnership is Daniel Mulerath, General Manager, Valley of the Moon Water District, and founder and former chair of the Quell Board. Like Veronica said, this truly is a partnership. We can't do it without the support of the EPA. Uh, the WaterSense program itself, the partners within the Sonoma Marin Saving Water Partnership. Uh, we've launched this in six different states now. Uh, we're up to 16 certifying organizations, and it really is a partnership. If we weren't working together with each other, this program wouldn't have really gone where it's gone to. Uh, we started this over 10 years ago, and to think that we'd be here today receiving this award, I don't think that we could have ever expected that. So thank you, everybody. It's a partner uh, working with us, and all the future partners we'll work with after. Thank you. So congratulations to our 2015 WaterSense Partners of the Year. Let's give them all a hand. But, 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 but we're not done yet, and don't let them take my dessert. After several years of program success, we have the opportunity to, to re recognize key partners for their sustained commitment to WaterSense and water efficiency, demonstrated by their ongoing Partner of the Year level support. The WaterSense Sustained Excellence Award honors partners who have consistently played played a critical role in our program's success and is the highest honor given to WaterSense partners. Three new partners joined this exclusive club in 2014. Achieving its third consecutive year as a WaterSense Sustained Excellence Award winner, this partner focused its 2014 efforts on drought-affected areas, in part by working with the Home Depot to offer promotions on WaterSense level toilets and shower heads to consumers in California. With their sights set on the bigger picture, the company also supported the Johnson Foundation's Charting New Waters initiative to find ways to protect the nation's water resources. The partner also promoted water sense labeled toilets at more than 195 events through its Trust the Flush campaign bus tour. In addition, it promoted water sense labeled products at Green Builder Media's Vision House in Interventions at Walt Disney's Epcot in Orlando, which attracted more than 200,000 visitors. Please join me in congratulating our first 2015 Sustained Excellence Award winner, The Kohler Company, 
Accepting the award today is Rob Zimmerman, Senior Manager of Sustainability. So on behalf of the entire team at Kohler, I'm pleased to accept the Sustained Excellence Award. The recognition we received this year and in previous years means a lot to our associates in new product development, manufacturing, sales, and marketing. It's also a tribute to our distributors, many of whom are also WaterSense retail partners. They work tirelessly to ensure that Kohler, Sterling, and Callista products that carry the WaterSense label are widely available and easy to find for consumers across the United States and Canada. We at Kohler value our partnership with the WaterSense program. It's one of several influential organizations that Kohler participates in, including the U.S. Green Building Council, the Clinton Global Initiative, and of course, the Alliance for Water Efficiency. A lot of work has been done to help make the transition to a more water efficient society, but much more needs to happen. None of us can do it alone, so I encourage you not only to join organizations like AWE, but stay actively involved. Your communities really need you. Two weeks ago, the United Nations released their Sustainable Development Goals, which are intended to draw attention to key areas that will both lift people out of poverty and protect the environment. Goal 6, which calls for safe water and sanitation for everyone, is particularly relevant for us at this conference. Through the efforts of the water and wastewater industry over the past century, we essentially have this in North America. But we know that it's an ongoing task, that water systems need repair and water sources need protection. Whether it's lead in the water in Flint, Michigan, or compromised water supplies due to torrential rains in South Carolina, providing safe water requires constant diligence. Water efficiency makes it easier to keep our water supplies safe and sustainable, which is why WaterSense is more important now than ever. So again, thanks to the WaterSense team as well as the other partners for all your work in building this important program over the past nine years. We at Kohler are proud to be a part of it. Thanks again. Our next Sustained Excellence Award winner is a three-time Manufacturer Partner of the Year that has earned this prestigious award for its collaborative efforts to promote water efficiency and water sense label products in 2014. Specifically, staff met with Quarterly with major home improvement chains to develop and execute strategic plans that promoted water sense label products, and it also conducted studies with global hotel chains to understand the best water efficiency improvements for lodging facilities. In 2014, this company introduced its water sense labeled Flush IQ toilet, equipped with leak and overflow protection, as well as two different water sense labeled faucets that were recognized for their design excellence. Its Happy Mess shower campaign further promoted water sense labeled products and received significant exposure, including a New York Times article, more than 2,700 tweets featuring the hashtag Happy Mess, and more than 90 blog posts. I'd like to congratulate our second 2015 Sustained Excellence Partner of the Year, the Delta Faucet Company. Accepting the award today is Carol Ann Kemper, Product Manager. On behalf of Delta Fawcett Company, thank you to both the Environmental Protection Agency and the Alliance for Water Efficiency for sponsoring this, this event. As a proud partner of EPA's WaterSense program since its inception, Delta is extremely honored to receive the 2015 Sustained Excellence Award. Our teams are continually amazed by how much the program and its partners have accomplished together over these years. At Delta, we are committed to water efficiency for our consumers and to the WaterSense program. We plan to live up to this honor by continuing to, de to develop smart products that conserve water without sacrificing the user's experience and finding innovative ways to educate the public. We are excited for what the future holds and what we can do together with the EPA. On behalf of the entire Delta Faucet, company organization, which includes Delta, Brizo, and Peerless Products, we'd like to thank WaterSense for this recognition 
and all of the program partners for their continued dedication to conserving water and promoting water efficiencies. Thank you so much. This next company earns its first Sustained Excellence Award after receiving the Builder Partner of the Year designation for four years. The company built 96 water sense labeled homes in 2014 and introduced five new communities in which all homes will be designed to earn that label. It also constructed homes that feature water efficient products that go above and beyond water sense criteria. For example, the water sense labeled Double Zero House 2.0 and 3.0 model homes in California include gray water recycling systems for toilets or landscaping and other water efficient fixtures and appliances. The partners' innovations were covered on a local television news series called Be Water Wise Wednesdays. Meanwhile, the company continued to train its sales staff on water sense labeling and certification requirements and offered its contractors training on water senses indoor and outdoor homes criteria. I'm very pleased to present the 2015 Sustained Excellence Partner of the Year Award to KB Home. Accepting the award today for KB Home is Jacob Atala, Vice President of Sustainability. Good afternoon, and thanks uh, to Water Smart Innovations, AWE, WaterSense, for all the, that they do to bring this crowd over and for all of us to share together in our commitment for water efficiency. KB Home has been uh, committed to water efficiency for a long time, and in our journey uh, uh, on uh, in this journey, we have come to know that what's good for the environment is also good for the homeowners and good for our company as well. This award uh, confirms this for us, and we are very grateful for it. We're honored. Uh, this year has been a special year for KB Home. Um, we have um, surpassed our 10,000th water efficient home. These are labeled homes. There are either water sense labeled homes across the country or water smart labeled homes here in the Las Vegas Valley. And today I have with me uh, Janet Love our, uh, uh, from our Las Vegas division and that builds a lot of these water smart homes. Thank you, Janet. Um, we also have surpassed the 250,000th water sense fixture installed in KB homes. Um, our homeowners love these uh, fixtures. Um, we know that they are showering better, for sure. Um, and uh, of course, we, this year with the California drought, we started installing for the first time uh, on-site gray water recycling systems. We have uh, systems from Nexus uh, eWater and we are, we're grateful to them, as well as all our partners, manufacturer partners, Kohler, Moen, um, Demand, and of course uh, to our raters like energy inspectors and uh, many consultants that work with us. Um, it's a, uh, a group effort and we are um, uh, committed to continuing it. Thank you very much. Last but not least, as a three-time retailer partner of the year, this partner earned its first Sustained Excellence Award for its efforts to generate awareness, earning 518 billion WaterSense media impressions in 2014. WaterSense and WaterSense label products were promoted on their website, Google, and the Weather Channel, as well as through in-store promotions and product discounts. To celebrate fix a leak Week, the company launched a five-week national campaign promoting water efficiency. Various stores hosted events in collaboration with WaterSense partners to educate community members about finding and fixing leaks, and they were provided kits with WaterSense labeled products. In partnership with AmeriCorps and the state of California, they also gave away more than 30,000 water conservation kits to drought affected households. You've already heard their name a few times today, which demonstrates how they like to work with partners. Please join me with congratulating our final 2015 Sustained Excellence Partner of the Year, The Home Depot. Accepting the award today for the Home Depot is Ron Jarvis, Vice President of Environmental Innovation.
Thank you very much. Um, today I would like to accept this award on behalf of the merchants that we have at Home Depot and the associates that sell the products that save so much water uh, for the United States. It's interesting, we have associates that are merchants that travel across the world. They're in all four corners of the world every day looking for products that help reduce water consumption here in, in basically Mexico, Canada, and North America. But as I think about this award, it's really not the Home Depot associates that we should pay homage to. It's probably most of the people in this room. It's the people that work for the great manufacturers that produce product for the Home Depot. It's for the utility companies that go to their bosses and, and go to their companies and create rebates for us that we're able to take to the consumers because, as you know, most consumers aren't just going to change something in their house because the EPA or WaterSense or Home Depot told them to. But we work with you guys to come up with rebates, and we take those rebates to the consumers. That stimulates a tremendous amount of progress in this, this process program for us. So thank you for all of you that are helping us as society make this, this better. Just a couple of highlights on 2014. We sold over 14 million products that were WaterSense labeled. And that saved over $400 million for consumers in the United States. Saved 48 billion gallons just in 2014 alone. That's a $6 billion increase. And we owe all of that to most of the people in this room. When I think back to 2006, 2006, there was this new program from the EPA called WaterSense that was brought to Home Depot. We joined the program at that time and said, this is something we really support. I remember the how elated we were when we finally hit 100 items. We had 100 items that were water sense labeled. Today we have over 7,000. And so when we look at our opportunities to make a difference in, in the U.S., it's a tremendous opportunity. So as we go forward, one thing that I would like to ask is for the rebates and the manufacturers that we continue to work together to go more for the contractor side of the business as well as the residential side. A little unknown fact about Home Depot customers. 3% of our customers represent 40% of our volume. So think about that. 3% of the customers represent 40% of our sales. Now those 3% are professional contractors. They're the ones that are working on condominiums, apartments, schools. They have tremendous outreach into the community as far as what they can help us as a group help change as far as water efficiency goes. So again, thank you very much for this award and have a great day. So I'd like to congratulate all of our 2015 Sustained Excellence Partner of the Year and Excellence Award winners and thank all of our outstanding partners who have helped us save more than one trillion gallons of water and make WaterSense a national success. Uh, today is the last day of, I think the Imagine a Day Without Water campaign that the Valley of Water Coalition was uh, running and I think Marianne mentioned that at the beginning. And the reason I can't imagine a day without water is because it means that I would not be here with all of you. We would not all be together working to really protect and conserve our water resources. So I thank all of you because I can't imagine a day without all of you. So of course we also want to thank the Southern Nevada Water Authority for its ongoing commitment to host this conference and for providing us the opportunity to interrupt your lunch to recognize our winners here today. I'd also like to welcome Marion Dickinson back to the stage for the unveiling of today's final honor, the Alliance for Water Efficiency's Water Star Award. So thank you again, and enjoy the rest of the conference. I guess it doesn't stay there. OK. I don't want to break it. OK. So the Alliance for Water Efficiency presents annually its Water Star Award at this luncheon ceremony. It's an award intended to recognize individual excellence in water efficiency. Individual, not organizations. I always have fun helping you guess the Water Star winner's identity, keeping it a secret from everyone until the moment of the award. We'll have to see how long it'll take you to guess who this is. Only the winner knows, usually, uh, as well as a few key people at the Alliance for Water Efficiency who are sworn to secrecy until the day of the award. As you know by now, this award is very important to us at AWE. We want to celebrate that unsung hero, the water conservation practitioner who works tirelessly in the trenches and makes a huge difference with their dedication, their passion, and their progressive approaches to move forward our field. 
Water Star winners receive this recognition not because they can apply for the award, but because their peers around them recognize the value of their very significant contribution and achievements over time and their quiet dedication to the cause. We have given six of these so far to water conservation champions like John Flowers of EPA, without whom the WaterSense program wouldn't even exist, George Kunkel of the Philadelphia Water Department, Bill Medaus of Medaus Water Management, Karen Guz of the San Antonio Water System, Doug Bennett of the Southern Nevada Water Authority and Water Smart Conference, uh, Innovations Conference fame, and Amy Vickers, author extraordinary of our Bible Handbook of Water Use and Conservation. All of these are unsung heroes who are doing their job humbly and without fanfare. Actually, I'd like to see that on a t-shirt. We'll have to consider doing that. This year's award winner exemplifies all of those same qualities we wish to honor. A personal passion for water conservation, a dedication to obtaining needed reductions in water use, and persistence in the face of numerous obstacles and challenges. So let's start with our rewardee description. I like to start with the personal stuff and then move into the professional. See if you can guess it from the personal stuff. Our awardee was born in Newcastle, England, the oldest of three children. Not content to stay in the UK for college, our awardee graduated from the University of California at Riverside with dual bachelor's degrees in economics and history, going on to further receive a master's of business administration at the University of California, Irvine. Throughout all of this serious academic life, she, and yes, our awardee is a she, became quite an athlete, a skier, an avid cyclist, and eventually later on, a stellar triathlete. She has done a couple of metric century bike races, half marathons, and long distance swims. I'm getting exhausted just talking about it. She seems to know the words of nearly every song on the radio, including tunes from the 50s and the early 60s before she was even born. And according to her husband, she can also solve a Rubik's Cube while chewing gum. Not many of us can do that, certainly not me. But I think the best personal story was when she was an exchange student in Belgium. She went to a bar and discovered that there was a competition to see which girl could down 24 ounce mug of beer in the shortest amount of time. The current local champion was there, surrounded by her loyal crowd. After a short warm up, our wardie decided to take on the challenge, why not? She applied herself and beat the local favorite. The crowd went wild, and for an entire year, this is the best part, for an entire year, every pub she went to in Belgium gave her free beer. <laughs> because as a champion, her face was on a poster in every single pub. So some of you, I think, know now who we're talking about. Seriously, why are we awarding her the Water Star Award? Because she has spent her entire career promoting innovative and effective water conservation from the trenches and has racked up some amazing accomplishments. She co-created the community-based organization model for retrofitting high flush toilets with low flush toilets in the 1990s in partnership with water agencies in Southern California. The initial program was a thousand unit pilot with one community group, the Mothers of East Los Angeles. Eventually, over one million toilets were retrofitted through this program, which not only brought water savings, but created local community jobs. Variations of this program were later replicated throughout California, New York, Georgia, and Texas. She co-developed the online water budget tool for the Municipal Water District of Orange County. This program provides landscapers and property managers access to an online tool to assist them in better managing landscape water use. A third party analysis of this program by Tom Chestnut at ANN Technical Services reported average water savings of 765 gallons per irrigation meter per day. She so researched weather based controllers and installed some of the first smart controllers in California. She did a runoff reduction study which qualified, quantified the water savings and the associated reduction in urban runoff from the installation of these devices. She designs and manages her water district, the Irvine Ranch Water District, $1 million a year conservation program, which ties financial incentives to cost-effective water savings. 
Devices and programs include uh, ULFTs and HETs, high efficiency clothes washers, industrial process improvements, turf replacement, uh, weather-based irrigation controllers, and rotary nozzles. The associated total lifetime water savings across all fiscal years from these programs since 2005 is approximately 37,000 acre feet. She revised Irvine Ranch's water budget rate structure allocations in 2009. These hadn't been revised since they were adopted in 1991. And she incorporated necessary changes to the plumbing code and installation of more efficient plumbing devices. Indoor residential allocations were reduced from 75 to 55 gallons per person per day, and the outdoor allocation was also reduced. She developed a standardized protocol for ET data in California. She has managed numerous studies that have evaluated an advanced understanding of the effectiveness or impacts of new conservation technologies and water efficiency in general. So what are the results of all of this? Since 1991, the average daily water use for an IRWD residential customer has fallen from 170 gallons per day to approximately 86 gallons per day in 2014. Imported water supply from Northern California to IRWD went from 62% to a low of 23% in 2014. Most impressive, to me anyway, is that IRWD tells its customers that this conservation reduction helps keep water rates low. And that's an excellent message. Tomorrow's the future, and Fiona is already there. She has worked for water efficiency consulting firms, for a nonprofit, and for a leading progressive Southern California water supplier. She has advised local and state governments and testified at the legislature. She has documented at the Public California Public Utilities Commission the value of embedded energy in her conserved water. She has piloted new innovative programs that have been copied all across the country. And she has served tirelessly for 15 years on the board of the California Urban Water Conservation Council, nine of those years as an officer. Her service to the council and her innovations in conservation won her in 2011 the council's Michael Moynihan Award for Leadership and Innovation. And her service is national as well. In 2015, she participated in the Alliance for Water Efficiency's demand hardening study uh, and was a valued reviewer of the results. Lastly, she is a perfect example of what I said yesterday was sorely needed in our field. A conservation professional who was so competent that her excellence is valued by her utility management and she's therefore promoted. It is thus with great pride and distinct personal pleasure that the Alliance for Water Efficiency awards the 2015 Water Star Award to Fiona Sanchez. Where is she? You have to come down. Here she comes. blinding lights here and I sat all the way back so you'd have to clap for me for a really long time so thank you um, <laughs> um, there's there's actually um, I, I am really and truly honored to receive this award um, I, it's very illustrious it's an illustrious group to be joining I can tell you that some of the people who are in the group of prior award winners were people that I looked up to when I first got started in water conservation and I remember being like so in awe of them and overwhelmed and it's a little bit overwhelming actually to now be in this group with them but I still look up to them very much so I want to appreciate I want to thank the people who have been leaders and encouraged me in my career uh, Miriam being one of them but a lot of other folks along the road um, definitely my husband Julio Sanchez we started some of those first programs together and worked together a long time and he's always supported me and I've had great um, people that I've worked with as a consultant, and I've learned so much from others and all the other agencies that I've worked with over the years. Um, but I really want to thank the folks that I, probably I work with the closest right now, 
and that's the IRWD staff. Um, we have a wonderful staff at IRWD, and we have a few of them here at the conference. So Amy, McNulter, Amy McNulty is our water efficiency manager, and she's amazing, and she does a great job at managing the group. And Siobhan Mays is here too, and Juan Garcia, and then we have others back, back there. Uh, throughout everything that I've done, there's no way I could have done it as one person. And even as I sat there listening to Marianne list off that stuff, I thought, well, I didn't really do all those things I was involved in. Maybe I helped lead some of them. But nothing happens without a great team behind you and great people to work with and collaborate with. And I think that's what I really appreciate uh, throughout my career, that I've had those opportunities to collaborate and hopefully continue to collaborate with, with great people, both at IRWD and the other agencies that we work with. Um, so I think one of the things I was thinking about uh, earlier today is like, wow, it's you know, I think one of the first water conservation conferences I went to was Conserve 90. Um, so yes, getting older. Um, but I remember learning about ULFTs at that time and thinking, wow, I guess I got to learn about plumbing products. And um, what has amazed me over the years is that one of the exciting things I think we have in our field is that it's always changing and we do get to innovate. And the things that we are doing now and the new technologies and the different products and devices our jobs are never boring because we never we don't know what's coming a few years from now and we come to these conferences and they spark ideas and I know every time I say oh Amy I've had an idea she probably cringes but it's those things that uh, spark us to do new things and to continue to push the frontiers um, I think lastly I would say don't be afraid to take risks there's a few times in my career like when I thought I was going to change the rate structure at IRWD and um, I was really scared because if it went wrong, it was all my fault. Um, so don't be afraid to take, take calculated risks. Do your homework, but you know, you've got to push the envelope and continue to push the envelope, um, whether you're a salmon really swimming upstream or not. Um, I think in water efficiency, we can really make, take things and make a difference. And in recent, I have seen that I, we're in a huge drought in California. Um, probably you all know that, but to me, Yes, it's a lot of work, but to me it's the greatest opportunity because we have their attention and that's how we can really truly push the envelope. And I think it's going to be really interesting to, to be at this conference next year and hear all the new things and the new innovations that, that we've had. So I really want to thank, just again, all of you who have supported me. I definitely want to thank the Alliance and Marianne. Marianne, who has been a very instrumental uh, person and mentor throughout my career. So, so thank you for that. And to all of you, um, I could go on forever, but you don't want me to. So just thank you. She may have an excellent staff, and she may, says, she may say that she doesn't really do all those things, but we all know that leadership is a pretty powerful motivator, and clearly Fiona has provided that leadership in her agency. So thank you all for staying with us to the end here. Um, I think if we're all set, I think we can release everyone. You know, the session starts uh, at 2 o'clock. So, um, we did finish a little early, so this is great. I want to thank uh, EPA, the WaterSense program, for their awards. I want to thank Doug Bennett and the, and the wonderful staff of WSI for how well they organized this conference and for letting us do this again this year. So thank you.